everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Priya and if it's your first time here welcome to the mirror image um, as you can tell by the title of this video today I was reviewing the Kim Kardashian and Mario palette this one over here it's a really beautiful palette I'm gonna quickly show it to you and it's a mixture of both matte and shimmer shades I really love how slick um, the packaging is as well and it fits like perfectly in my hand um, so I wanted to do something different I really wanted to use this cobalt blue uh, shade and um, I thought I'll incorporate it in an Indian inspired look and I'm really excited how it turned out I absolutely am loving this look so if you want to see how I created this look Please keep watching. So I'm starting off by priming my skin with the Kiki Beauty Cool Citrus Setting Spray and then going over with the second primer. Um, this is the Smashbox Primerizer, Primer and Moisturizer. I really like this primer and I'm gently massaging it into my skin especially now that we are approaching winter um, if your skin's feeling dehydrated this primer is amazing it has hyaluronic acid is in it which is awesome for dehydrated skin next I'm mixing two of the Maybelline foundation um, the first one is the super stay foundation as well as the fit me and I'm just applying this combo all over my face and then I'm going to blend it all together using my real techniques makeup sponge I like using it in patting motions um, it allows me to like press the product into my skin instead of dragging it around and I always prefer applying my foundation with a sponge this way if there's excess product the sponge just absorbs it so I'm um, basically blending all over making sure that the product is evenly distributed and I also like to um, cover a little bit of the pigmentation on my lips as well make sure you keep your hair away <laughs> that's why I try using an Alice band but I seem to still have these little small stray hairs that tend to pop up a lot okay so I'm just making sure that you're blending the foundation really nicely all over this is actually the longest uh, part of my whole makeup process is just making sure that my foundation is blended in nicely and is looking seamless so I actually really do spend a lot of time blending in my foundation uh, once you do this then everything else is much easier next moving on to concealer I am going in with my one and only Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm so sorry that I always use this concealer. I need to actually try some new concealers for you guys because I know Tarte Shape Tape isn't available here in South Africa. Um, but I really love this concealer. It really sets my under eyes so well. It doesn't really crease. Um, but I'm going to try and try out some new concealers for you guys um, and let you know if I like anything else okay so again I'm just um, concealing and highlighting under my eyes with the with this concealer as well as the bridge of my nose my chin and my forehead so all of the high points And then whatever's left over on the sponge, I am using it as a eyeshadow primer and I'm setting it onto my eyelids. Next, going in with the Bethany Banana Powder, which I got from Muse Beauty because um, they keep lots of international brands. And I am going to bake my under eyes with the sponge. So basically baking, for those of you who don't know, is... It's setting your makeup and then adding a whole lot more powder over it or you can see it's quite a bit of powder and we kind of like 
clogging the pores if i may say that but it's forming this mask over your skin and then as it warms up as the product warms up on your skin it kind of bakes and then fuses together and it makes your skin look amazing like nothing's going to budge after this it's not going to move throughout the day um, so I like to bake when I'm going to be doing quite a dramatic eye or whenever I know I'm going to have my foundation on for a long time um, I try not to do it every day um, but yeah and then I'm setting all of the other areas that are highlighted as well as the lids of my eyes next going on to brows i am using my favorite again benefit browsing in shade number five i'm starting off with the wax and i'm just carving out the shape of my brow with an angled flat brush and then going in with the powder in the same browsing palette and filling in my brows If you guys would like me to do a full detailed brow tutorial, please comment down below and um, I will form one for you. For contour, I'm going in with this LA Girl Highlight and Contour Powder. I believe it's in the shade Light, but I'm taking the darker shade here and just contouring my cheekbones. making sure it's nice and blended and then quickly down the sides of my nose so this is like quite a quick contour and then on my forehead so if you guys have a bigger forehead than mine then you want to contour a lot more I just slightly contour my forehead now moving on to the star of the show my KKW times Mario palette how gorgeous are these shades they are so good to even look at i swatched them for you so you can see how they look on my skin tone so there isn't a shade that i feel i could not wear so first i'm going in with this cool tone brown shade in the palette called a loyalty and i'm applying that into my crease area making sure it's nice and blended um, it's a very unusual kind of shade especially for a brown shade it's very cool tone which I don't mind at all it's giving my crease nice depth so I'm just blending in applying little at a time making sure I have a nice transition shade and I see it's also giving me depth at the same time Okay, next I do want to warm up my crease. I'm going in with this a deep kind of terracotta shade. It's called Albanian. And I'm going over the crease area with this shade just to warm it up slightly. So like that makes a huge difference already. Um, and I quite like how this looks. Next, this cobalt blue color called Libra. And I'm really excited to use this. I'm using a flat synthetic brush with this. I'm going to try it with a brush and see how it picks up the pigment. Whoa, now that is a bright colored blue. It's really, really nice. And I haven't wet my brush or anything. So this is just a dry brush. Okay, I'm just wiping away a little bit of fallout so it did give me a little bit of fallout um, which most shadows do that's beautiful I think this color will look amazing on all skin tones but I'm really really loving this blue tone
Okay, I'm in awe with this shadow. So I'm going in and basically putting the shade all over my lid. Okay, that's looking really nice um, I want to try applying it quickly with my finger to see how it looks if it intensifies the shade and it really does so I'm just gonna go over quickly using my finger and patting the shadow in whoa that's stunning I'm next lining just the outer edge of my lower waterline with the alley girl gel liner in black just the outer edges of my waterline next going in with my switch beauty matte ink liner i am drawing a very thin liner i'm not going to wing this look out And for mascara, I am using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. For my lower lash line, I'm going back in the blue shade in Libra. And I'm blending it all along my lower lash line. Sure, this blue is impactful. For lashes, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Mink Lashes in the Design Marilyn. I really like these lashes. They're nice and wispy and dramatic at the same time. I'm priming my lower lashes with this Maybelline Lash Sensation Primer. Um, I find that using this primer really um, makes my lower lashes like pop a lot. And whilst that's drying, I am highlighting my inner corners with the shade 2008 from the palette. It's a silvery uh, white, almost ice white shade. I'm lightly putting it on the inner corners of my eyes and then underneath my brow bone. For the lower lashes, I'm going in with the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I love this mascara for my lower lashes. It's very lengthening. Um, so now that the primer is like dried a bit, I'm going over with the mascara. Can you see what a difference the primer makes? Like, sure. It makes my lashes look really long. So I'm giving it a nice coat. Um, for highlights, I'm actually mixing two shades in the palette. That's 2008 and um, Armenian. It's a silver shade and a gold tone shade. And I'm going to use this as a highlighter. Oh, that's really pretty. So these shadows can be used in multiple ways. I really like how this is looking. Um, again, I'm highlighting the high points of my cheekbones. Wow, that is so gorgeous. So this is definitely a multi-purpose palette. And then highlighting the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, as well as my cupid's bow. Next to um, set my face, I'm going in again with the Kiki Beauty Cool Citrus Setting Spray and then aligning my lips with Max Plum Lip Liner. This is also a really nice lip liner for all skin tones. For lipstick, I'm using the MAC uh, mineralized lipstick in posh tone and then I'm going over it with uh, the Kylie Cosmetics and Chloe collab lip gloss in the shade Damn Gina I really like this gloss it has like little gold reflex in it if you guys would like to see 
um, a lip swatch video on all the Kylie and Chloe lip collab shades then I will link a video to that down below so this is the final look I hope you enjoyed watching me create this look and if you'd like to recreate it uh, please tag me in your pics on Instagram and if you really enjoyed Indian inspired looks like this please leave a comment for me in the comment section down below I'll definitely be replying to them um, also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and click the little notification bell and that way you'll always be notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys